Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. <laughs> and it's been a while since I made an analysis video, but I've been wanting to make one for quite a, for quite a while now. I, I don't even remember what my last one was about, to be honest. Um, but now that I finally have a little bit of time, today's metal analysis video is going to be going over the new Sephiroth EX Plus metal that we just recently got in Global. Um, and I, I'm particularly excited, uh, at least personally for me, Sephiroth medals are always something to get excited about, just particularly because of like, you know, how infamous Sephiroth is in general. I'm still mad that it's not a mercy pull to be honest, because I pulled 12 times on this thing already and I still haven't gotten it, so it feels bad for me, <laughs> but anyways, without further ado, okay, if you haven't seen it already, if you haven't checked out my website, I, as usual, uh, I try to keep my website, at the very least, as updated as possible for everything metal analysis related and whatnot. Even if I don't show it on my channel here directly, I always make sure my website itself is updated, like shown here on screen. Um, you can go ahead and check it out at khuxnation.com. As you can see here on the left-hand side, Sephiroth EX Plus is already updated here on the left-hand side. And in case you haven't been to the website before, you can just click on the metal that's on the front page. And it'll take you directly to the metal analysis article as like it shows right here. But if you are happen to be viewing this video from a later date and time where it's not shown on the front page anymore, you can always just go to the top right corner where it says metal analysis and choose the category that's associated with it. We can go to all metals, for example, right here. And since it is a tier eight metal, we're going to go to tier eight. And bam, it's right here for you to go ahead and look at. All right. So without further ado, let's get started with the analysis. Sephiroth EX Plus is a power reverse metal tier 8 AoE. He has a consistent, and I say consistent for a reason, consistent total max multiplier of 15.38, which is fantastic. He uses 4 gauges, has 3 hits, and this is what he does. For one turn, he lowers targets reverse defense by 2 tiers and power defense by 7 tiers. He inflicts more damage to higher HP. The first thing I want to point out about this metal. He has a very consistent multiplier of 15.38, okay? That is very high, uh, especially for metals that we're using right now, because as of right now, the average multiplier that we tend to be using at this point are around the 12 and 13 range. So anything higher than that is typically very good. The fact that he's AoE and he, he will pretty much be at that 15.38 almost all the time, is absolutely fantastic you don't have to worry about rng the other thing that i want to point out about this metal that is pretty much one of the main reasons why people like these type of metals is that reverse defense by two tiers uh debuff okay that is also one of its main traits now i also want to state that this metal is going to be one of those metals that is only primarily useful for you if you already have Kyrie or Shion EX, particularly Shion EX, obviously, because you know you want the reverse buffs for a reverse metal. But if you don't have either of those two metals, don't worry, you can still use Sephiroth EX. You're just not gonna get as much value out of him. That's all I'm trying to say. His primary uh main use is gonna be drawn from if you already have Kyrie or Shion EX. And I say that because of the fact that as of right now, Sephiroth EX alone, like literally alone, is going to be one of the cornerstone metals in the game that's going to bring back meta reverse strategies to the game. Um, similar to like when the original Sephiroth EX metal first came out and stuff, and how people were going crazy because you can do that, that uh, Sephiroth EX a combo on the fairy stars and whatnot where you put them in the four slot and you just have copy medals everywhere it's literally the exact same thing you're just replacing the old sephiroth with the new sephiroth it's it's literally the exact same combo i even constructed some setups on khuxtracker.com just to kind of show you guys uh what i mean by like like a reverse meta is coming back now at this point so we're taking a look at a standard uh fairy stars setup that we got going on right now so normally when i try and show setups and stuff like that I, I usually avoid showing any types of traits or skills whatsoever and I show just the metals fully guilted at base um, because then anybody can do that. But when it comes to the meta, at this point in time, uh, you will typically see at least one copy metal having extra attack being used on Kairi Shiro, 
Shioni EX at this point in time on average these days. So I included that in the setup, but beyond that, I have not included any other traits or uh, skills. This is kind of like a standard Fairy Star setup that's currently in the meta, all right? And according to k2xtracker.com, this setup does about an average of 60.9 million damage and remember that khus tracker is more of a comparison tool and is not an accurate representation of how much actual damage you'll do in the game it's just simply there to help you compare what is better than what all right so but that's how much damage this setup does and this is pretty much the standard fairy star setup right now now when we include the new sephiroth ex plus metal into this setup look at this okay this is pretty much the old sephiroth ex combo and we'd added uh master xehanort ex to the end of it because he's one of the strongest uh reverse metals in the game right now and look how much dam damage he does this setup does okay it does 62 point like five ish uh million damage it does more damage compared to the standard fairy star setup right now and that's just using sephiroth ex plus with just copy metals <laughs> like pretty much with just copy metals but the main thing I'm trying to show when I'm showing this setup is the fact that the only fancy metal on here is the Shioni X, Sephiroth EX Plus, and whatever reverse metal you have at the end. Those are literally it. It's like three metals. The rest are just copy metals. And it does a significant amount of damage. Like, that's that's ridiculous. And from what we've been seeing in JP right now, uh, the Organization 13 events are coming back stronger than ever, too, with some insane, <laughs> some insane uh reverse medals for the organization 13 members coming pretty soon that i'm pretty excited about too so which only means that reverse setups are going to get even stronger than they are right now uh, and that's something i'm really looking forward to and that's pretty much why i'm saying that reverse meta strategies are going to be, ma be making a comeback and one of the cornerstone medals for those strategies is going to be sephiroth ex uh the other cornerstone medal that's going to be coming up right now that's coming soon that just got released in jp is the hd vanitas uh, ex metal or plus yeah metal that just got released in jp that will pretty much do the exact same thing like we see on fairy start it's just going to be used for the diamond dust instead and potentially the uh the moogle of glory as well just a little side note before i go into looking at the spreadsheet multipliers and the score differences and stuff like that that i usually do uh, i just want to point out that because of the fact that sephiroth ex only provides uh reverse defense debuffs and power defense debuffs uh i i want to just quickly state that if you don't have shiona kairi ex uh one of his main weaknesses that he's gonna have uh if when you're trying to use him assuming you don't have those two medals is going to be uh, anything buffer related on top of uh, trying to make sure you satisfy the conditions of getting any general defense down debuffs okay um, so that's just something to keep in mind he does not do any of those things okay he actually doesn't do too much to be honest and it's also a main reason why his score is pretty low especially for a tier 8 uh, metal uh, he has a score of 37.2 one nine and i'm actually just about to go into that now that we talked about that let's go into the spreadsheets as i always like to do in case you haven't seen my website again i have a spreadsheet of every single metal currently existing in the game for global so that way you can actually compare them i have their scores uh, for my score system that i've created and whatnot I have their score on the side as well as that i have their multipliers here as well both their total max multiplier and their alternative total max multiplier so where does Sephiroth EX Plus fit in this? Alright, so we're actually going to go down just a little bit. Alright, so if we look right here, Sephiroth EX Plus is actually right here. And just for reference as well, this is a spreadsheet of all existing metals in the game. Normally, I like to compare metals according to their own tier of metals. But as of right now, Sephiroth EX Plus is the only tier right metal at the moment. So there's nothing to compare him to. So the only thing I can compare him to is against other metals currently existing in the game um, since we don't have other tier eight metals when thinking about that okay this is a spreadsheet of all existing metals in the game and he's right here uh he like i said he has a score of 37.219 the typical score for a decent tier 7 metal was usually around the 40 range all right so seeing that sephiroth ex plus a tier 8 metal is slightly below 40 is a little bit of a 
feeling to him okay granted he makes up for that with a high multiplier which is a good thing but then again if you don't have any of those medals I mentioned before to kind of make up for his lack of buffs and general defense down debuffs, uh, then it, it may be slightly difficult to use him properly. It's worth noting too that if you have uh, Kyrie or Shoni EX, you're pretty much looking at just multipliers and upright reverse buffs and debuffs at this point. But if you don't have those two medals, then looking at the medal's actual score is going to be more relevant to you. One thing I thought was pretty funny though was how Sephiroth EX Plus is right here, but then directly below him is the original Sephiroth EX. <laughs> and and actually the original Sephiroth EX is kind of the opposite of uh, Sephiroth EX Plus because um, while his multiplier, Sephiroth EX multiplier isn't exactly the greatest by today's standards, um, his abilities end up making up for that and Sephiroth the X plus is kind of the opposite he doesn't really have too much abilities but his multiplier makes up for it which I just thought that was amusing to think about and look at all right so real quick I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I want to compare his multipliers compared to everything else that's in the game so as of right now we're gonna go ahead and compare his total max multiplier not his alternative just yet so right now I have it sorted by descending and if we take a look at this as of right now Sephiroth EX has the, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, has the 7th highest uh, total max multiplier currently in the game. Okay, like this is guaranteed multipliers. Like you're, you're going to consistently get these, uh, which is pretty good. That's really good. And he's AoE too, which is actually worth mentioning. He's the only AoE medal within the top 10 that has the highest multiplier. So that's actually worth mentioning. Now, if we want to compare it to the alternative, total max multiplier let's go ahead and sort that real quick all right so he does drop down a little bit which is to be expected um he's right here in terms of the spectrum he drops to 13th place which again makes sense because there's very higher multipliers like the ffrk terra and wario light those are obviously going to do like way more damage than sephiroth ex will uh when their conditions are met but still anyways it's still worth it's still nice to see that sephiroth ex is definitely among some of the highest hitting uh, medals currently in the game. So now that we took a look at all medals in the game, I want to go look at specifically the power reverse medals currently in the game and compare Sephiroth EX Plus to those medals. So I have my spreadsheet of all existing power reverse medals in the game. And right now, right now it's sorted by score. When we take a look at this, uh, right now Sephiroth EX Plus is in third place. Uh, it's in third place and I do quotations because of the fact that copy medals are always going to be within like are always going to be considered like first place in the game just because of how good and useful they are period like they're, they're just always relevant relevant even the tier 5 key art copy medals right now are still relevant because of how good they are even though their multipliers uh, aren't as strong compared to like tier 7 and 8 multipliers so he's in third place with a score of 37.219. The second place medal is the dual wield Roxas EX medal, who has a score of 41.394. If we want to compare it according to multiplier, so we'll do total max multiplier. Sephiroth EX is the strongest power reverse medal currently in the in the game according to total max multipliers. Now, if we want to do the alternative total max multiplier, let's sort it by that. And he is still the strongest power reverse metal in the game. So overall, Sephiroth EX Plus is currently one of the best metals in the game, which would make sense because of the fact that, you know, he's a tier 8. I would hope he's good. <laughs> Mainly because of the fact that he has one of the best multipliers currently in the game. Um, but the other is also because of the fact that meta-wise, he's the only me metal in the game at the moment. We're going to be getting more soon. But at the moment, he's the only medal in the game that currently provides uh, reverse uh, debuffs, which is very relevant. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think about the analysis in the comment section below. Did I miss anything? Uh, do you agree, disagree, blah, blah, blah. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload a new video, just like this one. And as well as go ahead and feel free to check out my Discord. I enjoy talking to you guys all the time. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.